Good morning, good morning, good morning, Queens Rise Up. You know how we do. Yes, this is Queen Rise Up Women Empowerment. And Queens, what we do, we empower all women to know their worth. Because Queen, whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, whether you know it or not, you are worth something. Listen, you are valuable. You are not a discount piece. Can I tell you, you have potential. You have purpose. Yes, there is a destiny inside of you, Queens. If you haven't gotten there, I pray today, this morning, that you get up, make the devil mad that your feet has hit the ground, that you will step into the promises of God this morning concerning you, because guess what? I am walking in my promises and walking towards my promises. Is it easy? Absolutely not. Is it challenging? Yes, it is. But guess what? God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can even ask and or think. Good morning, Queen. God bless you. You know, we've been talking about trusting God in the wilderness. I don't know about you, but let me tell you something. This place is is intense. Can I tell you, the wilderness, I'm going to tell you, God bless you, bro, good to see you this morning. The wilderness experience, come on, queens, listen, there's no place like it, can I tell you, but in it, he's developing in your character, in it, he's developing your purpose, in the wilderness experience, he is developing who you are, come on, in him, come on, he's also getting you to see him as he is. Listen, it takes a lot. You know, last night in the part of the wilderness experience is being quiet, being still, being quiet, being watchful. Queens, that is not easy, can I tell you? So yesterday I wanted to speak, but I couldn't speak. I got up 2 o'clock in the morning, started just uh, cleaning up the house because you know what? When you can't speak, you got to just talk to God. Come on, Queens. Sometimes you just got to take it to Jesus. Listen, I don't know where you are this morning. I don't know what's, what's on your plate, what you're facing in your wilderness, but understand God is a God of provision. Even though there were... Even though the children of Israel were walking in the wilderness, come on, it wasn't a desert places. There was grassy land. Come on, queen. There was water. There was manna. Come on, God. God provides even in the wilderness. Come on. Did you believe it or not? Listen, what they say, Jehovah Jireh, the pro provider, he's just that. God is a miracle worker. I think about Paul and Silas when they were in jail. Paul and Silas prayed until the prison doors broke open. At that moment, did you know Paul and Silas was in a prison, in, in a wilderness experience? Come on. But they knew it still wasn't a desert place, that God was making provision and providing for them. So they prayed unto God. Let me see if I can find it was Paul and Silas prayed. Let's lock and load that this morning because even in the midst of the wilderness, still give him the praise. Even under when you're under um, anxiety and fear, still give him praise. Come on. Paul and Silas, when they prayed, listen, Queen, sometimes we, when the wilderness, we are tested, we are tried, but God is trying to show us that he is a miracle worker and that we must trust him. Even when you open your big fat mouth, come on, Queen, talk to me, you got to be quiet. That is not always easy because I don't know about you, but I love to talk. Can I tell you, I love to, to, to tell the story. I love to try to heal the process, be the deliverer, but God is the ultimate deliverer. He is the healer, so whatever you need, come on, let God do it for you this morning. Let me look up Paul and Silas so we can lock and load because let me tell you something. Even when they were in prison, Paul and Silas prayed and praise, and it broke the prison doors open. I don't know. Good morning, Queen. Good to see you this morning. We are just talking about the wilderness experience. I'm trying to get to Paul and Silas when they were in prison because they was experiencing a wilderness experience, but they wasn't in a desert place. They knew in that desert place, um, prayer would get them out. They knew in that in that desert place or that wilderness experience, that praise would get them out. Come on. It was prayer, prayer and praise and worship. Come on, Queens. I'm talking about Paul and Silas when they prayed. Come on. Listen, maybe you are in that place where you're feel like it's a desert, but it's not a desert. It's just a wisdom experience that you are going through. And in it, God, come on. Deborah, I don't see you in the name of Jesus. God, I love you, sister. God bless you. Acts chapter 12. Amen. Thanks for being on point and on time because you know I'm over here trying to do some new things with my little computer over here. But you know what? Let me tell you something. God is a miracle miracle worker. There is places in your life where you need a miracle right now. Can I just say that? A miracle. He's making provisions in the in the in the wilderness. He's making provisions. He's making it so that you get to know him intimately, and then in it you get to know who you are. At uh, Acts sixteen twenty five. Come on, queens, y'all with me this morning? Oh, I love your engagement. My God, bless somebody this morning. Somebody says Acts Acts twelve and two. That wasn't the scripture I originally had. It just came to me as I'm sitting here, so I just want to walk in it like I see it. Somebody said, say 12 and 5. Come on, queens. Y'all better y'all better work this Paul and Silas thing out tomorrow. When Peter was sleeping in the prison, come on, Paul and Silas. Paul and Silas in the prison. Come on, I need you. Listen. Uh, 
It is prayer. They still didn't, they still didn't. Yep, Acts 16, Acts 16, amen. At midnight, as Acts 16, 25 and 34, Queen, sometimes we are in our desert places, or I, I take that back, in our wilderness experiences, and we might be in the place of a midnight need. Come on, Queen. Uh, so it says here, at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed, and they sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. Don't you know God hears you? And suddenly, come on, Queen, that's Acts 16, 25. Listen, lock and load this morning, because I'm just reading to you hearing this morning. He says, and suddenly there was a great...